Today we're making this delicious chocolate cake with cream cheese frosting. It is such an amazing combination and it's surprisingly easy to make. The first step is to whisk together our dry ingredients. This includes two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of granulated sugar, three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, two teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and one teaspoon of fine salt. Then we whisk together all of our wet ingredients in a separate bowl. This includes one cup of warm water, a cup of buttermilk, a half a cup of vegetable oil, two large eggs, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Once those ingredients are combined, we're adding in our dry ingredients and I like to actually do this in two additions just to make it easier to mix them together. I find it's easiest to make this batter with a whisk, it just helps everything mix together the most quickly, but you could also use a wooden spoon or a rubber spatula. I love this cake recipe because it is really this easy to make. It comes together in minutes and you can make it by hand. Once the batter looks nice and smooth like this, it's time to pour it into our prepared pans. I'm baking three 8 inch cake layers with this and I have lined the pans with parchment paper. I'm baking them in a preheated 350 degree oven for about 24 to 26 minutes. While the cake layer is baking cool, it's time to work on our cream cheese frosting. We start by combining one and a half cups of unsalted butter with one cup of full fat cream cheese. We're going to mix this on a medium speed for about a minute until everything is combined and looks nice and smooth. Then it's time to add in one tablespoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of fine salt. I like to mix this on a medium low speed just so that the vanilla doesn't splash out of the bowl. And once combined, we're then adding in seven cups of powdered sugar. My kitchen is usually pretty warm this time of year, so I found I didn't need to add any additional heavy cream to get the frosting consistency right. But if you feel like your frosting seems too thick, you can always add in a tablespoon or two of heavy cream. Once the powdered sugar was fully incorporated, I scraped the sides of the bowl just to make sure everything was properly mixed together, and then I like to stir it with a rubber spatula and just kind of press the frosting against the side of the bowl to press out any excess air and make sure our frosting is nice and smooth. Our frosting looked great at this point, so it was time to assemble our cake. As always, our first step is to spread a tablespoon of buttercream onto our cake board just to help keep our first cake layer in place. I chose not to level these cake layers, they bake up pretty flat and I actually just press a slightly smaller cake pan on top of them when they come out of the oven to give them a nice flat top, but if you want to, you can totally level them with a serrated knife. I'm adding a nice generous layer of cream cheese frosting between each cake layer here and once all of my cake layers are stacked, it's time to work on our crumb coat. I do a crumb coat pretty much anytime I make a layer cake, but it is especially important on a cake like this where you have dark, soft cake cake layers and a white or bright colored frosting. But that's why we do the crumb coat. You can see it's doing its job here and has locked all those crumbs in and is going to give us a beautiful second coat of frosting. I like to be really precise about my crumb coat, but you really don't have to get it quite that perfect, especially because for this design, we're just going to be adding a little bit of texture with the back of an offset spatula. If you don't have an offset spatula, you could also use the back of a spoon or a butter knife. I wanted to keep the decoration of this cake pretty simple, but if you want to pipe swirls on top or smooth the frosting on the side, you might need a little bit of extra frosting, so just keep that in mind. And just like that, our chocolate cake with cream cheese frosting is all ready to go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to make this cake at home, the recipe is linked in the video description below, or you can always Google Chell Sweets chocolate cake with cream cheese frosting. And until next time, happy baking!